Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about a brand new loop for you guys and that is the while loop. And it's going to look something like this. You say while and then you put some condition here. So for example we can say i less than 10. So this is how we can create a loop that goes from 0 to 9. So we'll start at 0 and we'll just keep adding 1 to it until it hits 10 and it doesn't execute anymore. So this would be the equivalent to saying range 10 for a for loop because that 10 is not going to be included. All right, so then what you do is you put a colon and then you put some statements inside of the indentation. Now this i here doesn't come from nowhere. We actually have to create it. So up above, we will say i and set its initial value to zero. Then inside of the while loop, we can print i. And then lastly, we have to increase the value of i. So we would say i plus equals one. We got zero all the way to nine. So there's three pieces for this loop to work. We have the initialization, we have the condition, and then we have the update. And I remember these three pieces using I, C, U. So then I always remember if I have all the pieces or not. If you leave one of these out, the loop is not gonna work. So for example, if I got rid of the update, well, then we're never gonna progress to getting closer to 10. So the loop's just gonna go on forever, printing zero. And when I run this, we got an infinite loop. So to get out of this, what you're gonna do is hold control and hit C. That'll send a keyboard interrupt. It'll stop the loop. You can alternatively right click kill terminal if you're in Visual Studio Code, or if you just got the terminal open, you can just close out of it. Whatever you gotta do to get that to stop. And make sure you don't forget that update. So we say I plus equals one. Same thing with the initialization. If we don't put this in here, it's gonna say I doesn't exist because it's not defined. We didn't say where I came from. So you have to have everything. You can modify the way the loop works by messing with different numbers. So for example, we can count by two. Doing this, you can see it goes zero, two, four, six, eight. If we wanted the 10 inclusive, all you'd have to do is say less than or equal to 10. Running this, and you get zero through 10. Now it is a common convention to use less than, so you may also see this as less than 11, which will still include that 10, but it doesn't use the less than or equal to. So we still get zero through 10. So that's your introduction to the while loop. I encourage you to try some variations, maybe try counting by five, or count backwards from 10. So figure out how to modify the loop to do that. Be careful not to create infinite loops and make sure you have all of the different pieces, the initialization, the condition, and the update. Consider it like this. The initialization is the starting point, the condition is the ending point, and the update is how to get from one to the other. So thank you guys. In the next video, we're going to talk a little bit more about while loops. So stay tuned. I will see you then.